Today's Ask Me Anything goes out to Flitty Yuval. Um, and the video is brought to you by our friends at Visionary Keto Food for Dogs, which is a food I feed my dogs. Um, question says, hey, Robert, quick question. Why do you feed raw diet to your dogs? What's the difference from kibble? Uh, I, could go, I could do an hour answer on that question alone. But basically, what I want you to think about when you're feeding your dog is you should be feeding your dogs food. Not dog food, not cat food, not senior food, not puppy food, but food. So when I look at the food I feed my dogs, I want to know what's in it. If I do feed my dogs kibble, which I do feed my dogs a certain amount of kibble, and it's by visionary uh, keto food for dogs, I can read the ingredients. I look at the first three, four, five ingredients on the bag, and I wonder, do I know what that stuff is? And if I know what it is, do I know that that is a nutritious enough product to feed my dogs? I don't like to feed my dogs corn or um, soy or anything like that. So I want something that's a natural staple of protein and fiber. I also fats. So if I look at the ingredients and I see in the top three ingredients some kind of a filler, potatoes, for example. I don't like feeding my dogs potatoes. I don't find there's any nutritional value in those. Um, if you find a food that has a good nutritional um, ingredient list, like foods that you understand, like meat and fat and vegetables, then feed it. But be aware that a lot of vegetables, like carrots and sweet potatoes, are often used for fillers and they're sugar, so that's not a really beneficial product for your dogs. When I looked at the visionary label, I found that that was really the best food that I could feed, um, aside from making it myself, which I also do. One of my dogs, Goofy, is on a completely homemade, raw keto diet. Now that involves broccoli and, and beef and beef heart and beef liver and sardines and, and, and spinach and egg and a host of other things. A lot of people have a hard time making that or affording it or being able to actually have the time to combine it into a, a mix that they can feed for their dogs every day. And therefore, a good general kibble is not necessarily the wrong thing to do. If you want to feed your, your dog something that's nutritious, there's no guarantee it's going to make your dog live forever. People say, oh, the dogs on, you know, raw food live forever. No, they don't. There's dogs who are on raw food, home-cooked food, organic, the best food in the world, and they die. They get cancer and they die, or they get a heart attack and they die, or something else happens. What you're trying to do is hedge your bets. You're trying to hedge your bets against things. Like if you wear a seatbelt in your car, it doesn't mean you're not going to kill in a car accident, but your chances are less because you're doing the right thing to protect yourself. And that's all I do when I feed my dogs. Um, if you, whether you feed your dog a raw diet or you cook that food, there's not that much of a difference. There's been studies that shown, um, if you read the, the studies on brain size and fire cooking, you'll see that humans' brains evolved much bigger after we started cooking on fire, which leads you to think that the process of processing raw food in your body, it takes a tax on the body itself. In other words, it's an immense task for the body to heat the food up to a certain temperature where it can be processed through your body. So cooking the food, not a big deal. I, don't, I used to be a believer only in raw, but I've done studies and talked to a lot of very intelligent people, people smarter than me, and they um, have given me that same information. So whatever you do, just look for good ingredients, good, healthy, quality ingredients, and avoid as many fillers as you can, and you'll have a happy, healthy dog, and you'll feel better about it too. Got a question? Ask me anything. Be sure to check my website, robertcabral.com, for all the best online dog training available anywhere, and Check my link to Visionary Keto Food for Dogs, which is the food I feed my dogs, and they love it.